I hereby rescind my alert about making a staging copy of your Joomla site with Softaculous. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 221, which should give you a sense of deja vu because last week was number 221. Here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. I also work on Joomla sites, so if you are looking to hire someone short term or long term or even just to get you out of a bind, uh, drop me an email, tim at cybersalt.com and let's talk. Today's video is brought to you by our channel sponsor, MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for your Joomla site. And while you're there, check out the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA you'll get your first month free. All right, so last week I gave an alert about using Softaculous, a very popular tool in cPanel that comes with cPanel, uh, making a, uh, for making a staging uh, copy of your Joomla site. And what I pointed out was that uh, if you have any uh, uncommon or non-core folders or files in the root folder, of your Joomla install, Softaculous wouldn't pick it up. But Softaculous reached out to me and showed me that, hey, I was missing some settings and uh, you can actually make adjustments for that. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Let's turn our attention to the screen and uh, I will put on my grandpa glasses and let's check it out. All right, so here we have a Joomla 4, just a very basic site here, j4core.basicjoomla.com. Now in cPanel, which is the hosting I provide for my uh, for my clients here with my company, uh, you will see that in the back end, uh, this site, if we go to File Manager, ooh, which actually just popped up on this window here. All right, if we go to File Manager, go down here to j4.core.basicjoomla.com. We have our, just our regular folders in a Joomla install. However, you'll notice that we also have some folders here, Focal Cart Attachment, Focal Cart Download, Focal cart download public. Uh, these are uh, folders that have been put into the root as part of the Joomla install. So if we're going to make a copy, we want everything uh, to go over to the staging copy. Now also, even though all of these files are here, I'm just going to make one for fun. Uh, and I'm just going to do this right now. Um, hey, you.css. All right, put that file there. Now, uh, let's also go in cPanel here and we will open that in a new tab and we're going to search for Softaculous or SOFT. Here's the Softaculous apps installer and we're going to click on Joomla. Now when we scroll down we will see the current installations that Softaculous sees, uh, current Joomla installations. And here is j4core.basicjoomla.com. Now, if we were to click over here, create staging, uh, Softaculous is going to make, uh, in a very slick and quick way, it's gonna make a copy of your Joomla site. It's gonna copy your files, it's gonna create a, a separate database, and it's going to, uh, it's gonna make a copy of your Joomla site. However, uh, what you need to understand is, is that uh, that's, in its default, is only set up just to use the core folders in the root of your Joomla site and the core files. If you have extras like we just saw, here's what you want to do. Go and click on edit details for the install that you're going to, before you stage it. And once you do that, what you want to do is scroll, depending on the width of your screen, it might be on the side or it may be down at the bottom, but scroll down to uh, here we go, where, oh yeah, right here. Select additional files, folders from the following list. Now, if we click this plus, look at that. It lets us see the files and folders that are in the root of the Joomla install. So for instance, if you have, if you've made a custom folder inside of the images folder or inside administrator, the administrator folder, you're fine because that's going to get backed up, or that, that's going to be copied in the staging site and all the way down the, the tree. We're just, have to, we're just concerned about what's in the root. So here's some things in the root of the Joomla file, uh, of the Joomla site, and it's like, hey, we need to uh, add some additional files here so they're included when the staging site is made. So we want focal card attachment. Uh, we want uh, heyu.css. We want our .htaccess. 
Uh, and we've got that we're going to use Folka Cart Download Public and Folka Cart Download. And you know what? I'm going to put dot my Joomla configuration dot PHP dot MD5 because I I don't know what it does. Maybe make a good tutorial in the future, but just, it's there. It's a Joomla file. I'm just going to select it. Now, if I had some pictures I had uploaded to the root or that I didn't want, or some notes that I didn't necessarily need in the staging site, I just wouldn't check those. All right. Now that we've checked the extras. We can go down to the bottom, save installation details, and we are good to go to make that copy. But before we make that, remember, and just to show you how you do this, we want to make a subdomain for our copy, for our staging site to be put in. And to do that, we're just going to go back to cPanel, open a new tab, and we will go to down to domains, to subdomains, and I'm going to make a subdomain right here, uh, J4 copy, we'll call it J4 copy. All right. I hit tab. There we go. J4 copy basic .com will be the document root for this. Uh, th well, that's just going to be the subdomain. Now we can go back to soft tag list. I'm going to have to refresh this because I've uh, already made the, I just made that subdomain. Here we go. J4 core basic .com shows recently edited. That's cool. We go to the staging site. And we're just going to say, okay, where are we going to make the staging site? Oh, well, we're going to go to HTTPS and we're going to select the J4 copy.basicjoomla.com. We can give the database a name right here. So we'll just go J4 copy and we're just going to go create staging. And uh, that's going to zip across very quickly on my server. And what I will be doing here once this is done, there we go we can just go and look look j4 copy.basicjoomla.com there we go i've made a staging copy of the site and the cool thing is i can make changes and tests to this site and if uh and then when i'm ready i can go to softaculous and go down and i can go to this uh j4 copy and i can click this button and push it to live and all the changes i've made will go back to the live site now remember with a staging site, if you've made copies, like if or, or if people are making purchases in a store on your live site, or on the original site, or people are signing up, or you're changing content, you don't want to just push the changes in your copy, in the staging copy back, because you'll because it will it will wipe out everything that's new since the copy was made. But a staging copy of your Joomla site is really great for testing things because you can install an extension and if it works or an update and it works, then you can repeat that on your live site. It's a great place to test your live site. So you can merge everything back in all the changes you made or just do things in the copy and then do them on the live site. But anyways, last week I was wrong. Don't worry about making staging copies with your of your Joomla site with Softaculous if you remember to select any extra files or folders that are in the root. So thanks to Softaculous for reaching out about that. Uh, I'm really excited about that tool. Uh, also, uh, there's another tool if you don't have Softaculous some people have been telling me about for making a staging site. We will look at that another time. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You'll get a notification when that video comes out. Uh, in the meantime, I hope this was helpful for you. Please do subscribe, ring the bell to get notifications of new things happening here on the stream, on the channel, and uh, give the video a like. It'll help others to find it. Until the next time, enjoy your Juma sites, and God bless.